Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? I just hit my mic on my keyboard. How are you doing? It's me, Wokey. My head really hurts. But that doesn't matter because that's not what today's video is about. Today's video, I'm going to be going over the brand new Galadragalia banner that is coming over to the game. Should be coming at reset, I believe. Uh, we'll start by playing this trailer. Again, I can't play any Dragalia music or else they copyright strike my channel. But uh, yeah, this is the, the brand new Summer Gala banner. Which I feel everyone was kind of expecting, especially after it was revealed. Uh, the banner did not show up immediately afterwards. So that just kind of automatically tells you that Gala Banner is coming up. So that would mean we had two Gala Banners this month. That's crazy. I mean, if you never got any of the other previous ones, I guess it doesn't really matter. But anyway, as this trailer kind of plays in the background, a sad stuff happens. Spoilers, by the way, for who La Lexi is and all the Android stuff she does. Um... Again, can't play the sound, otherwise I get copyright struck. But you know what? Speaking of hurting the channel... <laughs> no, wait, that's a bad transition. If you want to help me out, you should totally leave a like. Comment about how which one of these units you're going to be going for. You're going to be going crazy for Lexi. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing her name like seven different ways wrong. Because she's literally so forgotten for the most part. Because she never gets interacted into any story stuff. Um, so I'm almost positive I'm saying her name wrong, so apologies to that. But remember, you can also help me out by slapping that like button, and then we'll get into the actual video. Man, her animation looks cool. And then here are the three Summer Servants. Coming in strong here. Yeah. Look at that. It's great. It's a damn shame you can't hear any of it, but it's fine. She summons a fucking beach. Um, no, <laughs> what? I'm sorry. <laughs> this headache is so strong, I don't even remember. Chair. <laughs> the beach chair. And there goes a the dog yelling at drug dealers. I'm sorry about this video. I swear, once we get to the actual unit discussion, big ass book, um, it'll be better. I swear. And then, mmm. Yeah, good reveal. Uh, that's Konohana Sakyo with her crocodile and Marshington for some reason in the background. She summons her croc, making her automatically worth whatever. It doesn't matter what her unit does. What does her unit do? Don't matter. 6%. That's the Galavana Trainer, and let's actually look into this. Alright. The newly added 5 Adventurers Summer Sanoa win and Summer Norwin win, as well as 5 Dragons Summer Konohana Sakia win, will also appear in the next Summon Showcase. Let's let you to let you know they are not limited in any shape or form. So here we are. The first one... Uh, Galalaxy. See, I keep wanting to call her Lexi, because it sounds the same to me. A compassionate heart, this courage to fight. Eden mode, activate. As the Lexi uh, acquires a new power in Eden mode and Mascula resolves to join the fight, the two throw themselves into a raging fires in battle in order to see their maestro's wish fulfilled. Once polar opposites, their hearts now begin to converge. Well, here we have skill 1, code 14, conviction, deals flame damage to the enemy directly ahead. If the skill is used during Eden mode, a variant called Eden Code 05 Guvara will be used instead. Eden Code 5 Guvara deals flame damage to enemies directly ahead and inflicts burn. Eden mode grants the user fig effect and activates. Eden mode will go for 20 seconds. During Eden mode, fig will automatically attack foes. What? The automatic damage will not be treated as skill damage. If this skill is used during Eden mode, a variant called Eden Code 01 Keter will be used instead. Co Eden Code 01 Keter deals flame damage to enemy directly ahead. Okay, so you summon a little dude. Sounds good. Standard attack damage up 20%. Flame above 10 hits. Wind resistance 10%. Resonant Hearts 2. Grants Laxia a charge gauge with 3 bars. Okay. Charge gauge fills with standard attacks, force strikes, and dash attacks are you wait what? Okay, and dash attacks are used uh, and grants um, it's I guess they mean the wait no. Standard attacks, force strikes, and dash attacks. What the hell are dash attacks? And grants the cumulative buffs to Laxi based on the number of bars filled. Filling one bar increases defense by 20%, filling two bars increases the att attack skill damage by 15%, filling three bars increases strength by 15%. Laxi's charge gauge will not fill when she has the fig effect, and the gauge will reset and all above buffs loss when fig effect is removed. Okay. Mana Clean 2 reduces susceptibility to stun and sleep by 100%. Critical Frenzy 2. 
Increases critical rate by 4% for every 15 hit combo up to 3 times per combo and adds 4% to the modifier applied to critical damage each time one of the users attacks as a critical hit up to 10 times per combo. After activating this critical damage increase will not activate again for 1 second. These buffs are removed when the combo counter resets. Alright, and she's a dagger type. Um, dagger attack type. Her weapon is dagger. You get what I'm saying. Uh, I'm kind of interested to try her out. Once again, because she's Galabanner, she feels completely different from any other fire dagger that we've had. <laughs> and I want to see how her little friend activates, too. One moment. These... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm just a whole mess. My whole body is just shutting down, I guess. Um, She seems like she'd be a whole lot of fun. How good is she going to be? Let me see. Is there a lot of... There's a lot of Gala fire units. Hmm. I mean, obviously she's going to be good because she's a modern galley unit. Um, there's no doubt in my mind about that. How good will remain to be seen. I think she would definitely work well with Mars. Actually, I'm curious to see how Mars would go because what doesn't Mars automatically fill your skill gauge? But I'm assuming that these skill gauges are based off of bars. And there's there's never been a fire bar unit. No, there is. There's Marth. But Marth fills his bars very differently. I guess I'm going to have to wait and see. I'm very interested to see how she interacts with a lot of other stuff. Is my basic thing. Um, Alright, let's go. Next one, Summer Sanoa. Vacation, huh? Can't wait to see how this experiment works out. Loving the huge experiment. Big success right here. Thanks to these right here. Beautiful, beautiful sunglasses. I wish they were right here. Uh, Corona Trial deals wind damage to the target and nearby enemies, draws them together, inflicts poison, and grants the user one stack of overload. Overload decreases skill gauge rate fill rate for the cr Corona Trial skill by 30%. Overload can stack up to three times and is not removed by shapeshifting. Bracing Summer consumes all stacks of overload and applies one of the following buffs at random to the user for each stack of overload consumed. Increase inspiration by two stages, adds 15% to the modifier applied to critical damage for 30 seconds. Increase critical rate by 20% for 30 seconds. The same buff will not be granted multiple times by one use of the skill. The skill is used when the user has three stacks of overload. All three buffs will be granted to the entire team. This skill is used when the user has no stacks of overload. One random buff from the above will be granted to the user. Wait, is this skill is used when the user has no stacks of overload? Hmm. Hmm. Alright, and co-op ability is skill damage 15%, chain co-op ability is wind, poison equal water resistance 8%. Abilities are determination 2, increase the damage dealt by the skill Corona Trial based on the number of overload stacks the user has. The first stack will increase damage by 20% with an additional stack increasing damage by 5% each. Freeze resistance 100% and skill damage 30%. Hmm. Uh, sounds like she's kind of, yeah, she's 100% a support unit. Um, she sounds like one too. Uh, I think she could work out. I kind of want to see her try out in the Agito. Um, currently I think there's no real reason to have a lot of these buffs in the Agito. Um, at least it feels like, but one of the Agitos are specifically designed so you can basically use any unit you really want. Um, it's been a while since I've done the win one, but as far as I remember, one unit can basically buff the entire team and then one you only really need one unit to be able to destroy the uh, Guido final boss um, so I'm interested to see how she, how well she would do in there I think she would do perfectly fine though based off of what I'm seeing here but they kind of designed the Guido so that um, just about any adventure can really work in it that's kind of the beauty of them all right let's go into the last not the last one summer Norwin he's the next one I should say Ah, let us dive into a story together. Summer Memories. Deals wind damage to the target and nearby enemies and activates skill shift for both this skill and the skill Ethermal, Ethermal Love. Phases 2 and 3 both increase the damage dealt by this skill. Phase 4 does not deal damage and instead removes all stacks of Doleful Spirit applied to Ethermal Love uh, 4 and energizes the entire team. Thermal Love deals wind damage to the target and nearby enemies and activates skill shift for both this skill and the skill Summer Memories. Phases 2 and 3 both increase the damage dealt by the skill. Phase 4 inflicts poison to the foes and inflicts one stack of Doleful Spirit on the user um, up to a maximum of 4 stacks. While the user has one or more stacks of Doleful Spirit, their energy level will not increase and using this skill during Phase 4 will cause them to take damage. The more stacks of Doleful Spirit the user has, the more damage this will take. Stacks of Doleful Spirit will not be removed by shapeshifting. 
critical rate 10%, wind above 10 hits equals HP regen 6. Uh, energy equals skill haste 3. Increases the user's skill gauge to fill rate as their energy level increases. The maximum bonus given when the user is energized is 25%. Freeze resistance 100%. Poison punishes 30%. Interesting. Interesting. Um, does it say anywhere on here what Doleful Spirit does? I'm assuming it's just something you stack on. Um... This is a unit where I think it's really going to depend on how fast his skills come out. Because it kind of sounds like, to me, he should be able to just non-stop be using his skill 1 and 2, like, over and over again. Similar to... Who's the person who does that a whole bunch? I think Lily does a lot of skill spam, now that I think about it. Um, there's a lot of units that do it, where, especially if you have the right dragon, they can just non-stop skill spam everything. Um, so I think that was kind of would be what he would do. But we're going to have to wait and see. Uh, not 100% sold on him. I think he could end up being very funny. You could see one of those things where it's like, oh, it actually turns out that he does a lot of damage. Um, but we'll see. We'll see him on that one. Okay, we may have Summer Kon Hanasakyo. I'll bring you tidings from the water's edge. Edging us. All right, Seashore Dance. Restore the user's HP and grants the user a Smiling Flower. The Smiling Flower's ability... Buffs the user based on the number of smiling flowers that have up to a maximum of six X. Hmm. Okay. Abilities. Summer flowers five. If the user is attuned to win, grants the user a smiling flower at the start of quest. Grants an additional smiling flower every over every sixty seconds up to a maximum of six. The user will receive the following buffs based on their total number of smiling flowers. One flower increases strength by 40%, two flowers increases defense by 20%, three flowers increases skill damage by 50%, four flowers reduces wire damage taken by 5%, six flowers grants an HP regen buff. Okay. Hmm. So, here's what I currently think about Konohana Sakyo, because I think currently in where Wind is currently located, she's too slow to actually do anything. Um... I would hope to be wrong when she comes out. Maybe it turns out that the skill's actually perfectly paced. But kind of having it be every 60 seconds kind of feels like that's too long. Most fights are done in two minutes. Um, the only exception is Master. So I'm going to be kind of interested to see if Master kind of changes how good this ability is. Where it turns out like maybe the fight is super long. Um, she has a lot of HP and she has a lot of defense. So having a unit that's more geared towards the super long game would be better. Um, she does look very good, though. I won't deny her about that, but that's how I kind of feel about her dragon, is that I feel like the dragon is kind of not in the current place of the meta of Dragalia, because, again, 60 seconds, it's too long, I think. Uh, most fights end super soon. You'll never see more than, I think, at best, two smiling flowers. That's what I think. Um, but yeah, those are the units I'm going to be pulling. Probably only going to be using tickets and a little bit of worm, mainly because I feel like whatever they got planned for the second year anniversary anniversary is going to be a something that's worth having a whole bunch. It's going to be super hype and stuff like that, so I kind of want to save off a bit. And of course, there is a collab coming vaguely at some point. I'm going to assume they're going to announce it right when the, the lead up to the second year stuff starts. Um, but yeah, that's kind of how I feel. Tell me how you feel about this. Again, if you want to leave a like, it always helps me out a whole bunch. I went through a big-ass, terrible headache to record this. Um, so it helps if you make me feel a little bit better. You know what? A little, leave a like will make me smile later on. Don't you want that? Well, probably some of you actually hate me, so it's okay. <laughs> the people who hate me can just stop watching the video. They stopped at, like, three minutes. Anyway, that's the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out!